Hello and welcome, my name is Simon Dan and after a week of double responses I am back to stand up for science and reason. Today I'm responding to a video made by a channel called Beyond the Imaginary Curve and it's a water kills the globe type one. This guy believes he is correct with so much conviction that the level of delusion is quite frankly startling. Let's see what he's got. Hi there, people. I'm making this video um, yet again, and I am hugely embarrassed. Now, again, I am no embarrassed for me. I am embarrassed for these absolute imbecilic morons who are out there in the world actively denying reality. Some of these characters like ALK, Jed, Wolfie, um, Soundly, and any other moron who wishes to deny reality, this is directed at your stupidity, okay? My stupidity and I are ready. Now, we talk about science, or these people talk about science, and so do many other people, um, and claim that nobody does anything practical to back up their claims or assertions. Now, I really shouldn't have to show this practically. It is a self-evident fact of reality that is well understood and applied. Liquid water does not have the ability to conform to the exterior of shapes and objects. Water will seek its level, must be contained or it will flow unless it establishes level where it will maintain, seek and maintain its level. Everything you've just said there is true for here on earth. So I'm hugely embarrassed, I'm probably going to mumble my way through this but it has to be done because these imbeciles, these absolute incompetent you know, numpties have to be shown over and over again. I put it to you, sir, that you are the imbecile for repeating an experiment that actually shows gravity is real when you think it disproves it. Now this number one proof that debunks the fact that people are telling you you live on a globe, right? I'm going to de demonstrate it and I'm going to use some examples that they like to use. The first one being a basketball. The number one proof we don't live on a globe. If this is the number one proof, the flat earth movement is done. So, you know, we don't accept sophism, where people are going to come and say, oh, but it has to be bigger, it has to be bigger. Oh, a football or a basketball in no way, you know, represents the earth. Well, that's your claim. Your claim is that we live on the exterior of a spherical object and you're claiming that liquid conforms and sticks to the spherical object. Now, if we go and we apply, you know, that claim and we look for it in a practical sense, if it doesn't hold up, your claims are rubbish. That's science. But it's not science to conduct a rubbish experiment, though, is it? And that's precisely what he's about to do. As we can see, we have the basketball. What happens when we pour liquid on the basket? Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to try really hard. You know, I want to be as honest as I can. I want as much of this water to stick to the surface of this basketball as I possibly can. Okay, so I'll be really steady, try and keep the basketball still. As you can see, it's really difficult, right? And this is rubber with dimples, okay? So there's plenty there for the water to cling to. As someone who understands gravity and the true nature of our planet, I could have told you that was going to happen. Now what can we see? What can we see? A wet basketball in front of a scientific illiterate. But it ran off, okay? Now what we're seeing here is adhesion where the water is binding to the material here, but it is a very thin film. Now you will hear these globe 
religious people saying, oh, yeah, but, but if you were really small, that, that would be, no, you know, there is no body of water here. It is a very minute amount of water that is sticking to the ball. He's right here. This is literally, there is literally no water stuck to that ball. And to me, that is exactly what I'd expect. Quite amusingly, he has unknowingly proven that gravity is real. If you have studied physics at any level, you'd know that the force of gravity relies on a couple of things. The mass of objects and the distance between them. Now, I would hope that our scientifically inept friend here would agree that the mass of the Earth, on, let's remember, which he is conducting this experiment, is significantly, uh, significantly more than his basketball. This means that the Earth exerts a greater gravitational pull than his basketball. So, of course, if you pour water on anything like a ball on Earth, the water will be attracted to the objects that invoke the greater gravitational force on it, which, in this case, is the Earth. He has literally proven gravity with this experiment, and he was trying to debunk it. And I am hugely embarrassed. You should be. He goes on to talk about us globists a bit more, actually. These people are, I consider, criminals because they are actively denying reality. Now, anybody else out there who actively denies reality and tries to push that onto others must be considered criminal because they are trying to warp people's perceptions and minds. There is only one group of people trying to warp perceptions, and that is you. Of course, I would welcome further discussion on this, and if Beyond the Imaginary Curve would like to comment, I'll gladly listen. And if he feels up to it, I'd like to pose a question or two of my own. I have been Simon and Dan. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.